Hello guys, Mr. Agrophobia here today. Today I've got a countdown tank build for you. This is probably the best tank build I've put together so far. But uh, if you like my content guys, like and subscribe. Let's get into the build. Our first piece of gear is the mask. It is a cavalier mask. Two piece gives you 30% hazard protection. Three pieces 40% repair skills. And four pieces charging for each second spent out of cover during combat agents will get 5% reduced incoming skill damage max 50% charged while well, fully charged gain immunity to any movement speed debuff and share this with all the agents hazard protection and incoming skill damage reduction with all allies for 10 seconds after charged is consumed charging buff will re resume if still in combat and out of cover core attribute is a blue the attributes are 10% hazard protection and the mod is 12% protection from elites. Our second piece of cavalier is the holster. It's a blue and 10% hazard protection. Our third piece of cavalier gear set is a blue, 10% hazard protection again. Our fourth piece of cavalier is the gloves, a blue coat and 10% hazard protection. The chest piece we're using is the named Gillaguard brand set, Pointman. It gives us 5% total armor. The core is a blue. Attributes are 10% hazard protection and armor regen, just for a little survivability for yourself. And the mod is 12% protection from elites. And the talent is a perfect vanguard. Deploying a shield makes it invulnerable for 5 seconds and grants 50% of your armor as bonus armor to all other allies for 20 seconds, cooldown is 25 seconds. So we have 2 million armor guys, so you're granting 1 million bonus armor to your teammates, and in countdown you have another 7 teammates, so a lot of survivability. The backpack we're using is the Uzina Getica brand set, 5% total armor, core attribute is blue, attribute to our 10% hazard protection, armor regen, and the mod is 11% protection from elites. The talent is Galvanize, applying a blind, ensnare, confusal shock to an enemy grants 40% of your armor as bonus armor to allies within 20 meters of that enemy for 10 seconds. So that is 800,000 armor, so you're potentially granting your whole team 1.8 million bon bonus armor. So that is really good for survivability, especially in Heroic Countdown, which most enemies are yellows, elites. Our primary weapon is the stage left, the rifle. Uh, our core attributes are 10.1% rifle damage, 17% critical hit damage, and the attributes are 23% optimal range, but we're not really stacked into damage. This is just for support for your team. The talent is perfect sledgehammer, dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on target. Targets with mark will take 40% more damage to armor and have minus 30% movement speed. Mark will disappear after 10 seconds. That's good for the hunters if you can get a grenade onto them. Those are the mods. Secondary gun we're using to proc galvanize all the time as well is the exotic shotgun Scorpio. Correct beats are 14.9% shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor, and 10% critical hit damage. And the talent, if you don't have this gun yet, is septic shock. Shooting the target applies stacks of venom which lasts 10 seconds, increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target. 1. Poison, 3. Disorient, 6. Shock, 7. Target makes additional 20% damage from all sources, stacks no longer increase. Duration of stats effects is based on percentage of pellets hit on applying shot. Those are the mods with the exotic. I decided to use the TDI card custom because you get a free skill tier. Core attributes are 12.3% pistol damage, skill tier and in sync hitting an enemy grants 15% skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a non-shield skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants 15% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Damage increases doubled while both buffs are active at the same time but we're not stacked into damage guys or skill damage, it's just for the skill tier. And those are the mods I put on. Our primary skill is the Crusader Ballistic Shield because you're granting your bonus armor from Vanguard, your chest piece talent. You are tier 6 because you are 6 blues, so your shield will be really tanky and you have protection from elite, so it will be even more tankier in Heroic. And those are the mods I've got. Our second skill is to help get Galvanize for your teammates. 
those are the mods this is the overall build guys four piece cavalier pointman chest vanguard galvanized backpack we have two million armor the scorpio to proc galvanize and right foam to proc it and if we can get sledgehammer that's for your teammates and uh, our stats are if we go all the way down remember guys you're a hundred percent hazard so when that charged procs on your gear set you're giving your teammates a hundred percent hazard protection so against the hunters they won't get emp the skills won't get emp so they can use their skills like shields uh, etc remember guys you also get 10% hazard protection from your SHD watch so if you're a high rank you'll get the 10% but uh, if you're a low rank and new to the game you will eventually get that 10% but it's not a massive deal you'll still give your teammates loads of hazard protection so uh, this is really good for teamwork a tank build I think this is the best possible one but uh, I'll show you the specialization specialization I'm using is the demolitionist and the main reason for demolitionists is because you're, you're helping your team with this build so you'll get group members gain 5% damage to targets out of cover which is a lot of damage to grant to your teammates we have 15% shotgun damage increase pistol damage increase and 15% rifle damage increase and obviously um, you can ignore a grenade an explosion here Ignore explosions can only trigger once every 60 seconds, which helps you. But uh, give this build a go, guys. It's actually really good for heroic countdown. I'm assuming if you do challenging, it'll be good as well, but heroic's the best. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Agent, the power plant is stable. Now get the hell out of there. 